Hello, and welcome to your DEQ Online third-party verification process training for responsible entities. This training is intended for regulated entities who report to our greenhouse gas reporting program and are required to have their reporting verified. We'll begin today with a brief overview of your DEQ Online and why DEQ is making the switch to this system for its greenhouse gas reporting program. We'll then cover how the 3PV process works in YDO, including how 3PV forms are submitted and amended. And we'll conclude today with where to find additional YDO resources. Your DEQ Online is DEQ's new environmental data management system, which covers a variety of programs at DEQ. It is cloud-based and accessible from almost any browser, and you can search published content without a request. It provides a safe and secure interface for reported data, allows DEQ to reduce our paper use and carbon footprint, and there is dedicated support from a vendor, which means ongoing and timely support for users. DEQ has been rolling out this platform for use by various programs within the agency, and the greenhouse gas program and third-party verification for this program are now live. Beginning with 2023 reporting year data verified in 2024, entities who report as permitted stationary sources, natural gas suppliers, natural gas systems, and electricity suppliers will submit their annual emissions data reporting and complete verification within your DEQ online. Before we discuss form submissions, it's helpful for us to provide an overview of how the verification process works in YDO. As verification is performed on annual emissions data report submissions that meet our verification threshold, the first step in the process is for the entity to submit its reporting to DEQ by the reporting deadline. DEQ will review your annual report submission, and if verification is required, then a conflict of interest disclosure form will also be required. This form is filled in by your verification body, but requires your co-signature in the system. We will cover how co-signatures work later in the presentation. DEQ must review and approve the COI form before verification activity can begin. Once your COI form is approved, your verification body will prepare and submit a notice of verification services form to DEQ to notify us of the verification services to be provided. The verification body will then perform your verification. If during the verification process, you and your verification body disagree on some aspect of verification that would change the outcome of your verification statement, you have the option to petition DEQ for a final determination on the issue. The petition form must be submitted by the responsible entity. Once all verification activity is complete, the verification body will prepare and submit the verification statement form in the system. Because all of this verification activity takes place in YDO, it is important to make sure that you can receive emails from the YDO system so that, you, so that you will receive notifications as your reporting moves through the verification process. Please make sure your email inbox is set to receive notifications from your DEQ online at govonlinesas.com. Otherwise, system emails may be trapped in your spam filters. Let's move on to form submissions. We'll first cover submission of the Conflict of Interest Form, or COI. It is your responsibility to ensure verification is completed for any report you submit that meets the verification thresholds. When DEQ reviews your annual report submission, it will also do a third-party verification applicability check. If verification is applicable, you will receive an email notification from the system stating that a conflict of interest form is required. This notification will contain a submittal RID number and a security code your verification body will need when completing your conflict of interest form. Once your conflict of interest form has been drafted by your verification body, you will receive a system notification to prompt you for a co-signature. Clicking the provided link in this email will direct you to a login page and generate a second email with a six-digit login code. 
This code should be input into the login page as shown here. Select verify to open the drafted form. Once signed in, you will see a read-only copy of the drafted form. If edits are needed, please discuss these with your verification body outside of the YDO system. The Submittal Info tab will have all of the information on the COI form, and you may also review any attachments in the Attachments tab. When ready to co-sign, go to the Co-Sign tab and complete the required fields. A green box confirming successful submission of the co-signature will appear in the upper, upper right-hand corner of the screen. You will receive confirmation emails from the system, both when the COI form is received by DEQ and when it is approved by DEQ. Please note that verification activities may not proceed prior to DEQ approval, so please wait for the second email to come through. This may take a few days, depending on the complexity of the disclosure submitted. Next, we will briefly cover the submission process for the Notice of Verification Services form. Your verification body will prepare and submit this form. Co-signature is not required, but you will be copied on the confirmation notification sent to the verification body. Your verification body will also draft and submit the verification statement. Once the form has been submitted, you'll be copied on the confirmation email the verification body receives from the system. You can consider the receipt of this confirmation email the endpoint of the verification year. Please remember to retain all records related to your verification in case DEQ has any questions once the verification process has concluded. If you have a disagreement with your verification body over the verifiability of your submitted report, you can petition DEQ for a determination prior to the verification deadline and prior to submission of the verification statement. From your dashboard, navigate to the petition form in the column on the right side of the screen. Use the yellow plus sign to open. On the basic info tab, fill in all required fields. Use the red save icon at the bottom of your screen to save your work. On the attachment tab, drag and drop any additional documentation you believe will help DEQ make a final determination. Click the document to add a document type from the drop down menu, then use the red save icon to save the document. If you believe DEQ has all the information it will need already, you may skip this step. No payment is required for this submission. You may skip the payment tab. On the review tab, make sure all of the information you are submitting looks correct. On the submission tab, check the box for the attestation and fill in your security question and PIN to finalize your submission. The blue submit button will appear when these fields are complete. You will receive a confirmation email from the system when the form has been submitted and another once DEQ has had the chance to review and make a determination. Amendments are required for 3PV forms if anything on the submitted form changes. For most 3PV forms, the verification body will request an amendment. But if you need to amend a petition you have submitted, here are the steps. Navigate to your submitted submittals from your dashboard and select the yellow eye icon for the petition submittal you would like to submit an amendment request for. In the Submittal Summary tab, use the yellow box at the bottom of the screen to select Amend, then input a reason for the request and hit Send Request. The system will send confirmation emails both when the amend request has been received prior to DEQ review, and when it has been approved after DEQ review. Until the notification of approval is received, you will be unable to edit the form. Once you have received a system email confirming your amend request has been approved, open your form for editing by clicking the green pencil icon next to the submittal name, or you can open it through the red send back box. One quick note about adding new attachments. 
If your new file is the same name as an older file you uploaded, rename it first. Otherwise, the system automatically overwrites the older submitted file. Complete the rest of the form submission process as usual. The system will notify you when the form is received by DEQ. Finally, let's cover where you can find resources to help with your DEQ online. Your DEQ online help .oregon.gov is a great first stop. Click to expand the Greenhouse Gas Reporting and Third-Party Verification button to see all available resources, such as user guides, training videos, and more. If you need system support, you can get in touch with the Your DEQ Online Help Desk from the same page by clicking on Contact Your DEQ Online Help Desk. This will navigate you to the Help Desk web portal where you can click Regulated Community Request to submit a ticket. This concludes today's presentation. Thank you for attending today.